Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and we are playing Terraformers today. Here we are at the the ruby planet, the red planet, Mars itself. We've got a little bit of bacteria over here, but we are close to spreading a bit more. We're two turns away till this bacteria spreader is ready. So thank you everybody for joining me. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this series so far. If you're just coming into the series, well, we're trying to take things slow and steady here trying to really strategize and basically turn this place green with the support of our population. Very critical here, very critical. Now, oh look, I just noticed we're actually negative support chains per turn, so we are losing support. We need to maybe start focusing in on that a little bit. We've we've kind of been really focused in on infrastructure and gaining resources, not to mention we did build a few like projects here. We can take a quick look at those. Um, space projects, here they are. So we've got two exploration satellites up in orbit and a space hotel, which is giving us support. So another one of those might be really nice. And a uh, orbital telescope. So this produces science per turn. So we've been focused, like I said, on a lot of infrastructure. Maybe we should start to think about our population, getting our support up. Uh, Wetmonds is doing well as a colony here. It's uh, it's developing. We need more population here, though, I think. But uh, let's see, another Android hub. I'm going to keep that. The food I'm holding. I don't really have any cards I want to spend just yet. I'm thinking we, we are considering another city down here, too. We've located a place here where we can potentially plop down a city. But um, the big decider in that is whether or not it's got any good mining locations around it. Um, also some support, like I said, I know I've been talking about, just said, I'm not trying to get more resources or infrastructure yet, but we got to kind of do both things in tandem. You know, I can't just, I can't neglect the support really is how I should say it. So, you know, with that in mind, actually, we have been looking to either decide on one of these geothermal plant. I was waiting till I had enough titanium to do this one. And now that I do, I think I've changed my mind. <laughs> no, but since I realized, you know, we're negative support, let's go ahead and install a spa here. We'll do a spa resort for eight water plus two comfort of living. So that's going to help us out a little bit. I don't think it's necessarily going to change our support per turn right away, but given a little time plus, you know, stacking some other support uh, bonuses uh, with it, I think will help us. So... Not to mention just improving the terraforming of the planet itself, I think also greatly increases your support. So if you rely solely on buildings and stuff, you'll probably just fail. Anyway, our skill has been used. We are saving, yeah, the buildings I've got, I'm just kind of saving them. Our project is going to receive the last of our tritium. So we'll have to kind of hope to hopefully get some more of that next turn. And I think we will. So speaking of next turn, let's take it. Let's go. Let's see. Our leader still has eight turns to go. He's still fairly new with us. Oh, power plant. Science and silicates, which we can actually afford right now. God, look at the science. We're getting nine per turn. Uh, public baths, Android hub, school, oh, or a spaceport. I'm actually tempted to go with those. Bonus on high location. You know what? I'm thinking I maybe messed this up. Does this one not get a bonus on high location? I don't think it does. But uh, I might move this one. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, because we can literally afford this right now. And I don't think it would be too harmful for our supplies here. In other words, we don't have anything else that's really dependent on science or, or silicates right now. So... Question is, where should I move these guys? The windmills. Let's see. Ooh, one more turn for the bacteria spreader. That's awesome. Yay. Let's see here. Well, we can always hold off. It's not like we need the power immediately. We're doing okay on power. Let's uh, let's hold it. We might we might have the opportunity when we place our new colony to uh, lay it down somewhere. So let's see about that. Let's do the exploration here. Five tritium. Nice. All right, so we'll keep uh, that allows us to keep uh, supplying our little project here, which, by the way, is going to give us 20 atmosphere and 20 heat. So pretty big, pretty big towards uh, terraforming. Nice little step. Oh, good. And there is a deposit right here. Perfect. So that means if we lay the city, we'll, we'll at least have one good mining spot. 
Let's see here. How much is this going to cost? Four power? Let's do it. Oh, look. This is another high location. That's perfect, guys. That is literally perfect. So before we can found this city, we're going to need a little bit more food and we need to explore this final thing. So we just need to go ahead and click our turn, which I think I'm going to do. We're saving. <clears throat> we're saving all our cards. Trade routes are all properly allocated. Let's go. Okay, ooh, ooh, nuclear oxygen provides atmosphere, oxygen, adjacent population gets negative support, increases radiation in the city by one. Now, that's something I haven't seen, radiation factors. Huh, that's obviously probably not good. <laughs> or we could get support. Oh, boy. I'm going to take the support. Kind of need it, don't we? <gasps> Artificial magnetic field? Radiation protection globally? Oh, you got to be kidding me. That's incredible. We, we could have used that. Um, let's see here. Down park. That's cool. More support. Does this give us support? No, this doesn't. Remember, we're trying to really focus in on some support buildings. The food, extra bo bonus to food production is pretty huge. Don't um, provides for support. Adjacent populations. Wow. I want this. I want it, but we can't even afford it. Honestly, I don't know what to choose here. Um, I think I'm going to go with the project, though, believe it or not, because look at this. Once we finish this one, <clears throat> we're going to have just, we're going to be able to fill this one up in like two turns, probably, with the amount of uh, research we've got. Okay, so we're settled there. Let's see here. Now we do need to get this thing explored. How? Oh my God, it costs eight power here. I don't care. I'm doing it. Okay, we're good to go. Let's see. Shall we found another city, ladies and gentlemen? I think we should. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to put this one, I guess this right here is fine. Now, um, I did use his skill. I think next turn I might actually use his earthworks to destroy some rocks here. And we got another city that's still got some rocks too. So, yeah, that'll be good. Anyway, let's see here. There's no fertile soil. So, I'll just slap this down any old place for now. And I do want to go ahead and get the Android hub. I'll kind of put that... I guess I'll put it right here. That's fine. Good enough. Okay. And that allows, look at that. Oh, five. We have five. Part of the reason for that is urban planning. Whenever you found a new city, it starts with two expansion slots. So that's huge. That's huge. Let's go for that one. That one. Pit mine. Oh, I need energy. We'll get more. We'll have it. Uh, this one. What is this? Viewpoint tower. Yes, please. That just increased our support, uh, or comfort of living, which de facto, I think, increases support. Uh, yeah, this one's connected. Oh, another viewpoint tower. We got two of those now. Okay, so that's essentially all the squares I can take without reducing my support. Um, not to mention, I'm kind of interested to see what this one is. If it's another tritium mine, we're going to go for that. But we need to get this installed, this mine ASAP. So, I'm going to stop exporting those and start exporting food so we get a bit more titanium per turn. And let's see, what do we need? Energy as well for that. Well, we'll get the energy over time, so no big deal there. Okay, are we trading away energy? No, we're not. <clears throat> that means we can go ahead and lay this here on this high plateau. Bada boom. Situated on a high plateau. There's extra energy per turn. All right. We're doing good. Like I said, you got to maintain support and infrastructure in tandem. And I think we're doing okay. Now it really is the time to start focusing on this right here. Some bacteria. So one temperature. Let's see. What's the temperature here in Tharsis region is negative one. Okay. So we probably want this guy right here in this green location. Boom. Nice. So that's going to, of course, increase like our atmosphere and maybe the oxygen. I didn't read what the bacteria actually does. Maybe, oops, maybe we should look at it again. Um, oh, here it is down here. This is what we just, methogenium. Okay, bacteria convert hydrogen from their environment to methane, a potent greenhouse gas. So this one increases heat per turn. Cool, cool. What about, I can't remember which one we have over here. 
I think it's the other one though. This one, a simple bacteria plus two atmosphere per turn. Okay, that's pretty huge. I like it. They both do different things and they're both obviously helpful. So <laughs> let's go. We're done with this turn. That was a big turn actually. Oh, shrubs or more bacteria. What does this one do? One science per turn if, if climate zone has a city. Huh, interesting. So this one doesn't actually help uh, the terraforming, but it does give us science and prestige, which is interesting. See that, two prestige. This is just more towards temperature and rainfall. Oh, no, no, no. This actually gives us prestige too. Support, if it has a zone, a city in the zone, atmosphere and oxygen. Hmm. Honestly, I kind of like the shrubs better. It's going to be a while before we can place them, but yeah. Okay, so you know what? I actually need a laboratory, and I'll show you why. If we go to wet mons, we've got ourselves an anomaly right here. Science buildings produce extra science on this slot. Boom. There we go. All right, good little good little choice. Let's see. Oh, okay, so we need more tritium. And let's see, do I have the titanium yet? No, I don't. Where's that mine at? <clears throat> here. No, still short. We'll have it next turn. Or no, we won't. Darn it. But if I use my satellite strategically, we might. Let's see, is there any titanium around here? You know what else I should do? Oh, here we go. This is like the only one. Three is not enough to do it this turn, but it'll allow us to do it next turn. Also, what I should be doing now is re relocating this bacteria spreader to a new region. So let's see, what about this one? This is a negative two. I don't think we have any bacteria that's quite that resistant to cold. I'd like to get one in Solus, but we don't have a, a, pla a region there that we control, which is available. Okay, a city can be founded at this location. I don't think I'm going to be founding any cities there, but what I am going to do is take that over. And then, yes, 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 now we've got the open thing there. All right, one second. Okay, so the bacteria spreader is literally right here next to that. Unfortunately, you know, it's a different region. You know what, actually, I don't necessarily think we do need to move it. Because when I go to, or I recall now, when I go to select it when it's available, it's not now, obviously. It's got 11 turns till it is. But it does allow me to choose different regions. So, okay, let's hold off on moving it. Um, I can undo this. Actually, yeah, look at that. I can undo that. I can't undo the exploration, but you can undo some moves. So I will undo it. We'll save it for now. Maybe we'll use it on a different location. We'll see the expansion. But, um we're going to wait, because we have to wait anyway. If I were to relocate it, it would still take, you know, 11 turns, I think. So that's good to go. Now, I didn't get any tritium this turn. We were looking more for this, because we want to get this mine up and running. So, in other words, we're not going to get our methane from Titan just yet, but that's okay. I think getting a mine up is a little bit more important. Not enough tritium to satisfy. Oh, so it won't even let me do it until I correct that. Okay, okay. So what we're going to do is reduce it by one, I think. Oh yeah, I got to do it up here. There we go. And now we have, we're still a uh, free one trade route. So I'll put that towards this guy right now. Yep. Gosh, we have so much research. That's awesome. Okay. I think we're good to go now. Let's end it. Ah, oh, look at this more support. Android hub, uh, another bacteria spreader would be pretty nice. More heliostatic power, greenhouse. I'm going for the space hotels. Let's look at our overall, look at that. Support per turn is now up to plus 13. So we, we turned it around, folks. We're doing good here. Let's see. Let's take a quick look at each of our cities. So this one, support is, oh, wow, plus 16 at that one? Dang. This one's still new, so not too worried about that guy just now. Okay, he's plus 11. Just check any in the individual cities, plus 8. Okay, everybody's pretty well happy right now. Awesome. Now, let's see here. Did I have to choose one? No, I already did. 
we need tritium. I really want to finish this project. Just get it, get basically free up my trade routes, you know. If I let it go naturally, it'll finish in two turns. Um, oh, we can expand this now. Let's just do that. But, hmm, now it will actually, okay, I can do this now. Okay, okay, so let's reduce this one, reduce that one, and we'll add a third. Beautiful, so this will finish next turn now. Okay, since we got this mine up, cool, good to go. And I need some more trade routes. <laughs> now, I feel like I do actually have a good amount of trade routes right now at the moment, but um, maybe as time goes by, we might need more of them. It's just when you get three active projects up here, it does feel like you need a whole bunch of trade routes. So we've got more to explore. What do we need? We're good on tritium. We don't have any incoming nitrates. And you know what? There's actually this spot. I haven't explored it yet. I feel like I need to just do it. There we go. Oh, it's just a blank spot. Just some rocky plains. Oh, well. Um, we got a little bit of nitrates out of it, though. So now the planet's a little bit more whole in terms of what we've explored. Yeah, that's looking good. Gosh, we've got, I don't want to say 50%, but we're approaching 50% of the planet explored, which is cool. I love how when you're in the night side, too, you can see, like, the cities, your colonies. Yeah, that's awesome. The glow. That's cool. All right, so have we explored here with this yet? No. I was talking about doing the resource mining, too. So let's let's do, whoops, went a little too far. Let's do that. Um, this one's got four spots. Hold on, tell you what. This one's still got three. Oh, my gosh. This one's more important to me at the moment. I'd like to get this city filled out a bit because it's one. I think it's the second city I ever founded. And now we can, hold on. Okay, that one's fine. This one, now we'll get a little bit of attention here. We got two more. And I'll just do that one. This we don't want to destroy. It's a natural site. Adjacent population gets support per turn. So the, at the moment, I need to move my tuber farm because that's taking up a population spot. But I can put one here. That would be good. I don't think, oh, the androids don't count towards that either. Okay, so let's see here. We've used our skill. Trade routes are all assigned properly. We're going to get our methane from Titan next turn. And like I said, I'm betting that will give us a little bit of support too from the population overall. So let's go. Let's see. And it's good too because now their expectations have just rose. Import oceans. I feel like we need to think, start thinking about this. Problem is I do have some cities that might flood a little bit. Oof, support and food. Also, I can't do this one right now because I'm full on projects. So, Research Center, University. I'm actually tempted to do this one. Yeah, because we can afford it for one. I have an absurd amount of research. And it would be cool to get more options each turn. Where should I put it? Does it bonus anything? No. Um, I'll just establish it here. I don't think it really matters. So, you know what? In that situation, let me go ahead and just put it in the new city. Okay. Good, good, good. So, that'll be helpful to start of next turn. What do we want to do? Gain some resources. Earthworks. I think we're pretty set on earthworks. Um, or we can just explore. Let's see. Uh, first of all, let's enable this. Yes, told you. Bonus support. Plus one climate in all zones. Your temperature in all climate zones. That's cool. That's cool. Um, so we're still waiting on our bacteria spreader. That's got nine turns, obviously. Should I start thinking about laying down the plant spreader? That's possible. I don't know. Just get it down, you know. We need to find some nitrates, though. That should be another big, uh, big mission because that's one of the last, that is the last resource we don't have, like, steady income for. So... Next city that we lay down, we'll have to have some nitrate uh, mines next to it, I'm thinking. Which, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of them. As I'm kind of looking through here. Let's see, how much is this one? Eight power. Wow, wow, wow. wait, well, what's this one? Oh, that's sandstone. I thought that was nitrates. A little bit hard to see when I'm zoomed out. Okay, here's a big nitrate deposit. And it's not super far from my city. Problem is, this one's full. 
I don't have any halves I can afford at the moment, although next turn I will. Okay, I'm seriously tempted. Oh, man. Can't replace that. We want that. This is the water here. Yeah, we want that. It's like the only income for water we have, I think. To perform, we want... Yes. Um, I, You know what? I could sacrifice the, la the laboratory. We just laid one. Okay. Now, let's see here. I do want to move this one. But, hmm. Hold on. Let me think some more. Okay. So, if I move this here... Yep. Now, th the next turn, I'll be able to put a mod here. This module, probably this one. Maybe this one, actually. Yeah, this will give us more boost here. Mm, I don't know. We'll, th we'll see next turn. But then, which will then allow me to expand to the nitrate deposit and hopefully establish a mine right away. Let's see here. We do have an exploration left. Um, Power-wise, we're decent. We're decent. I could go ahead and get some extra nitrites, though. Or not, because no, I think we have to do that on a pre-existing mine location, which we don't have, so never mind. Let's just go ahead and explore. We'll do this one right here. Water, nitrates, and support. Pretty decent. All right, now let's end the turn. Beautiful. Oh, look at this, even more stuff. Okay, we, now we can start thinking about oceans. Um, let's see, resonance station, brine electrolyzer, two support for every own that costs water. Wait, own the city that costs water, huh? Uh, no, quantum data center, mm. development center. Honestly, we're going to go for Europa here. Oh, this one might be decent, though. This project can only be placed once per city, must be built in a, uh, I'm not sure what that means, just a city? Yeah, yeah, as opposed to the planet surface. Housing plus one, plus one support for every mine owned by this city. Interesting, interesting. I like that, but we're going to go for the oceans right now, I think. Also, let's check. We've got three available trade routes. I'm going to dedicate all of those to this right here. I want to go ahead and make this the next thing we do. Um, we can hold off on the space hotels. We're losing support again, but man, that changes rapidly. Swings back and forth a lot. But uh, so space hotels might be the next thing we do before the ocean, I think. It's probably the smart move. Okay, so that's all set. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and place the habitation module. Beautiful. Now, <clears throat> we'll save this for, for like a newer city that needs the extra pops. This one now has available spot it can claim. And, of course, we're going to set up our mine immediately. Very cool. So now we are finally getting two nitrates per turn. Cool. Okay, that's excellent. We've got ourselves a research or a satellite to do. Also, you know what? Boom. Ten, oh, 11 nitrates. Awesome. All right, so we just stockpiled some nitrates. Very cool. And that means we can place the plant spreader whenever we want. I might just place it here. What? There we go. But as we see, it won't let me place any plants yet, I don't think. No suitable climate zones. Yeah, we'll get there, though. We'll get there. Um, so that's cool. Let's check on our bacteria spreader there. It's got eight turns left. Still quite a few turns. Our leader has three turns. We've used the skill. We've got one satellite. So where to explore? Let's just see. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Remember the South Pole? Yeah, we talked about this one. Nuke in this location. Let's explore it. Collect. Okay. There we go. Now let's click on it. Drop nukes for... I can't believe how cheap this is. For three tritium. Gives us 10 atmosphere, 10 heat, big boy. Let's do it. I don't know why you would build a dike here, but let's just do this. Oh, I have become life the maker of worlds, folks. All right, 200 support. Look, everybody's watching it on the TV and stuff. You got to love that. You got to love it. They just watch this nuke their, the planet. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. Maybe we should have waited till we got our radiation protection up, but it didn't say anything about like a radiation level. So I think we're cool. That was awesome, though. That was pretty awesome. So you know what? I think that's probably a good note to end things on this episode, a little nuclear blast, guys. So I'm going to just say thank you so much for joining me for this one. Hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys on the next episode. 
Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and now check out this fan art by a couple of my Discord members, Finn and Vita. It's pretty good, and I love the cuttlefish.